I wish more girls were making amazing stuff on YouTube, because those that are do get noticed. Emma Blackery's meteoric rise to YouTube stardom over the past few months is a case in point. Yesterday she smashed through 100k subs. So if you are a girl and you're thinking of YouTubing but haven't yet, then give it a go. YouTube is crying out for you. But wow. I didn't realise that YouTube was screaming out for female content creators. I mean, I didn't realise that there was such a drought in quality female created content. S and Emma, Daily Grace, Mimi Molly, Meg Turney, Lee Newton, Felicia fucking Day, Namery Hart, Al Say Hoot, Lenchley Mardell, Books and Quills, Marion Honey, Kate Matthews, Chateau of a Doubt, Devilishly Pure, Emily the Brave, Hayley Ju Hoover, I Talk to Snakes. Saying fear is like the main reason, you know, we're too uh, self-conscious to expose ourselves for the fact of like we'll, we'll be judged and I thought you know maybe I should write this comment maybe it won't happen but sure enough as society sucks straight away I got a reply saying yeah you don't know what you're talking about well fuck them even tonight and I need to take a walk and clear my head about this poem about why I can't go out without changing my clothes my shoes my posture, my gender identity, my age, my status as a woman alone in the streets, alone in the evening, alone, not being the point. The point being that I can't do what I want to do with my own body because I am the wrong sex. I used to think I had the answers to everything, but now I know that life doesn't always go my way. It feels like I'm caught in the middle, and that's when I realize that I'm not a girl. I'm not yet a woman. All I need is time. Just a moment that's mine. And while I'm in between, I'm not a girl. Recently, so hello ladies. I am one. Hi, how's it going? I'm a girl and I'm on YouTube. I am a girl. I am a girl vlogger. I am a female on YouTube. Thanks for outing us. You're right. We have a secret. We all have little tiny hidden penises. I keep mine in a jar, it's from my ex-boyfriend. And Carrie Hope Fletcher says that there's more pressure on girls to look good than there is uh, on guys, but that's when it cut to a scene of Dan telling Phil to sort your hair out. <laughs> I really don't like it when beauty gurus are automatically disregarded when people talk about women on YouTube. Well, there are some really successful beauty gurus on YouTube, but they're a different category, we'll leave them out of the discussion, is very often the approach that people take. I mean, what interesting stuff could they possibly have to say? They learned how to edit and developed their skills just like we did. They make videos talking about self-confidence and bullying and they deserve way more credit than they get right now. Not every girl wants to be funny or wants to show the world how hilarious she is. And I don't really want any girls, or boys for that matter, feel pressured into making funny videos while they actually want to do something else. When I was just a little girl, I asked my mother, what will I be? Will I be pretty? Will I be pretty? Will I be pretty? What comes next? <laughs> oh right, will I be rich, which is almost pretty depending on where you shop. And the pretty question infects from conception, passing blood and breath into cells. The word hangs from our mother's hearts in a shrill fluorescent floodlight of worry. Will I be wanted, worthy, pretty? You're hiding all your doubts, all your faults, all your questions, all the I think more girls don't do YouTube. I have no idea. <laughs> no idea in the slightest. I don't have an explanation for this, I don't know why. I don't know what the reason is. That's a, that's a complicated question. Yeah. don't really have an answer. I don't know. It's difficult, it's a good question. So, um... Boy, do I have answers for this question. <laughs> Without going ahead